Did 21 Savage really scam Aiden Ross out of over $200,000 live in front of 100,000 people with nothing but playing cards? Let's find out. So over the past few days, a very interesting story has been unfolding in the streaming and hip hop world. Now you might be wondering why I'm covering this story as a magician or a sleight of hand expert. Well, this story is actually really intriguing and fallen right into my wheelhouse because it's cheating using playing cards, something that as a magician, I do all the time. There's a lot of controversy surrounding this story. Did he do it? Was he in on it? How did he do it? Now, I'm gonna break down this footage as a sleight of hand expert and give you my thoughts on what went down in this situation. Now to give you a bit of background, if you've never heard of 21 Savage or Aiden Ross, 21 Savage is a rapper from Atlanta, Georgia, and Aiden Ross is a streamer from Florida. Now Aiden does these massive streams with hundreds of thousands of people watching live, and he has various celebrities on, various rappers, and in this case he had on 21 Savage. Now they do a lot of different things, but in particular they tend to gamble very large sums of money on different video games and on card games and that sort of thing. Now the other night, Aiden had 21 Savage on his stream. Now they started the night by playing some NBA 2K for $20,000 per game. Now an important piece of context is 21 Savage lost all three games of 2K, leaving him down over $60,000. Where it gets really interesting is they decided to switch and start gambling playing some card games. Now as a magician, I know a thing or two about cards, and what transpired after this is extremely interesting. They began playing a game called High Card, which is very similar to the game War, if you've ever played it. Each player draws a card, and the highest card wins. It started at betting over $1,000 per hand, and quickly jumped to five, 10, and even $25,000 a hand. And by the time it was all said and done, 21 Savage had not only won back all of his $60,000, but left up over $200,000 thousand dollars in profit and that's money that he had taken straight from Aiden's pocket. Now you might be asking yourself, well how did he cheat? Well 21 is being accused of cheating using something called marked cards. Now if you're not familiar, the concept of marked cards are very simple. They're cards that have an identifying mark on the back of the card that allows you to tell what they are on the front. Now there is all kinds of different ways and types of markings, but in particular there's two main types. Some cards that actually come printed that are already marked and cards that are marked after they have been printed. Now as an example, these are marked cards and they're actually marked right beneath that triangle on the inside of the middle finger. If you see there, it has a K and a club indicating that this card is the king of clubs. Now these are cards that have been printed with a marking system on them. But any regular deck of cards, like these exact cards that they were using in the video, can be marked after the fact. They can be marked using blood, they can be marked using pencil, they can be marked using scratches, which is exactly what 21 has been accused of doing in this case. Now the cards that I showed you a second ago are what are called fully marked cards. Both the suit and the value are marked. But you don't have to do fully marked cards, and in the case of 21 Savage, his were not fully marked. They were simply marked to identify which cards were the face cards, in other words, which cards were the high cards, so that he could win every single time. Now this is the type of marking that typically you would see a card cheat use, rather than a magician. Now this is where it gets really interesting. I'm gonna take a look at the footage and try to break down not only his body language, but look at the cards, and how he may have got the cards in play, and how he may have been using them to his advantage. Once you see the footage, it's not really a question of if he cheated. Someone cheated. The question is, was he in on it? He has denied the fact that he has cheated. He came with a large group of people and it is possible that one of them marked the cards. But we're going to take a look at the footage and I'm going to tell you what I think as a sleight of hand expert and magician if he was in on it and if he planned to pull this scam on Aiden. Let's jump in and take a look at the footage and I'll let you know what I think. Nah, he's not going to scam me. Trust. I know how to play that Yeah. Nah. Do we have like a table where we could sit like this? Yeah. yeah. A little circle. Like a little circle of a table? Yeah. 
So the first thing that I notice here is he opens a brand new deck of cards. Now, cards come in a box wrapped in plastic and they can't be tampered with when they come from the factory. So we know that that original deck of cards is a regular deck of cards with no markings. That box he has is the standard bicycle box and there's nothing fishy going on there. But if you notice a second ago, he passed the cards off screen and now we can clearly see his hands are empty. So he's obviously given the cards to someone, likely someone on his team. Let's see what happens next. It is? Yeah, I know, no, it's 50-50, I know. Now you see the moment when he gets the cards back. Now what I'm looking for here is to see if he is instantly looking to identify markings. If you think about it, if you get a deck of cards that you know is marked, you want to verify before you start playing that you know where to look and how to find the markings. So I'm going to pay attention and see if he's looking for those markings. Other thing to pay attention, the deck was out of frame for about 25 or 30 seconds. That would imply that if this deck of cards was switched by his accomplice at this moment, it would imply that it was already set up. The deck was preset and it had to be a switch. He couldn't have had time to go and mark all of those face cards in that deck. It must have been pre-planned and they must have switched in that deck for a pre-prepared deck. Are those your cards? A pack? Yeah. You say you just open it? Yeah, yeah. brand new. Okay. <laughs> See, that is super interesting. See, right there, Aiden asks him, is that your deck of cards? And you can see how he pauses and hesitates, almost like he wasn't expecting that question. And his response when Aiden questions him is he says, it's a pack. And when Aiden says, are those your cards? He hesitates and has this weird look on his face and then says, yeah, a pack of cards. And then proceeds to emphasize that they're brand new. And it's interesting because it really seems in my eyes that he's hesitant that he wasn't expecting to be asked that. But if you think about what had to go in to pull off this scheme, if it was pre-planned, they had to have planned achieving this switch. They had to have planned having a setup deck and having a new deck that we can pretend to open. So this seems like a well thought out cheating scheme. And again, pay attention to his face when Aiden asks him if those are his cards. And it's funny how Aiden is also suspicious. Yeah, cause you know there's like weighted dice and weighted cards. Cards. Not weighted cards, but there's cards that can transform. Damn, you know how to shuffle. You gotta show me some cards that can transform. Bro. Aiden's retarded. I'm really not, bro. I know what the f Now, another thing I notice is he's actually great at shuffling. You know, he does a, a great shuffle and what's called the bridge, and then he does what's called a Hindu shuffle very well. So he obviously has some experience playing cards, and so I wouldn't put it past someone with experience to understand some techniques that you can cheat in. Aiden mentions weighted cards here, and I think what he's, what he's getting at is more marked cards. And it's very interesting how this all feels like it's foreshadowing what's to come. It's very suspicious. You, you don't imagine something like this to come up if one of the two don't already have an idea that this thing exists or is gonna happen. Like, you could, there's like, you see the magicians, they do some weird sh cards. He's definitely right about that. Us magicians do some weird things with our transforming cards. I pick one first. Just, just pick a card. Okay, I'm just gonna show you. Turn it over? No, nah, don't turn it over. Yeah, I pick a card. Whoever well, got the highest card win. How much? A thousand? Ace. Ace. Let's Ace. do it. Ace is high. Ace is high? Yeah. yeah. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, so you're up. So what I want to pay attention to is how many times he gets a high card. And it's already suspicious that on his first pull, he pulled a high card. Because in a deck of 52 playing cards, between the 10, Jack, Queen, King, and Ace, there are 20 cards. That is about 38% of the cards, which means about 38% of the time, he should be pulling face cards. Let's keep a total on how many times he actually pulls face cards. And they're betting $1,000 a hand to start here. Three, two, one. Okay, even. All right, so this is interesting. The second hand he loses. You have to keep in mind, if you are trying to cheat, you would want to mix in a few losses as for it to not become too suspicious. Let's keep watching. Take a card. Three, two, one. Let's go. Again, another loss. What I want you to notice here is how quickly he grabs the card. 
Not only does he quickly grab a card, he grabs the one right in front of him. So this definitely makes me feel like he's not trying to look for markings if he did know about markings in this case, which would either point to he's trying to lose to not make it too obvious and to kind of rope Aiden into the scam, or he actually didn't know about the markings. Let's find out. Easy money. Ace high. Once again, you see another face card be pulled here, but if you watch how he pulls it, how quickly, and the fact that he takes the one right in front of him, it doesn't make me feel like he's looking for a face card. And at the end of the day, this was another loss. Another right face card. You won this one. Bro, you just jinxed me. If not, you won. I promise you won. Sammy tipped $1. Aiden, can you play some background music, please? Yeah, I'll play some Savage, one second. You won, bro, don't worry. Yeah, you got a face card. Show it. See, if this is a face card, there is an extremely high chance that at this moment, he knows about the markings. That's only been four hands, a win and then three losses. And that's what you would want to do if you were cheating, but this one, he was looking for something. You can tell the way he moves around the cards and how long he takes. He wasn't just thinking and trying to get a sense. He was looking for something. Let's see if this is a face card. Jack, face one. And exactly that, it is a face card. Oh. Show it first, because I showed it first last time. Here is probably the biggest piece of evidence I see. You see him struggling to apparently look for a card, and then his friend points right at a card, he picks it up, and it's a face card. Looks very bad, looks like his friend was also in on the marking. Man, I don't like your confidence, bro. How much you doing for a card? Stop. Don't pick it up, you, yeah. You cop, you cop. If I'm, if I'm down $120,000, and I'm capping out at 200, we're doing $10,000 a car. So now they've upped it to $10,000 a card. And it's gonna get really interesting here because you just saw him search. He was searching for something through that deck. So let's see what happens. Gets a king of spades every time. Another face card. You got a face card every time, huh? Another face card. What about 180, bro? No, no, no. And there he just got a 10, which is technically another marked card in this case. This screen. Can you feel it back? Like, look how close he's hovering to the cards, right? It's not that he's even close, it's that he's up and over the table in a bird's eye view. Definitely looking for something. What's very interesting here is they've started now discarding the cards from the deck, which means every time he gets a face card, there should be less and less face cards for him to pick, yet he still keeps pulling face cards. I know, Jack or King. Another face card. No. I get to queen, I can't. Another face card. I mean, look at the way he's looking here. Scanning, and then starting to move the cards. Searching. Oh, I'll bet this is a face card. Let me see real quick. Uh, really not right here. What my soda? Now there's also this moment here you can see where it almost appears like he's signaling or pointing at that marked deck. And at this point in time, that might be a signal to, hey, get this deck out of here. We got to switch it because the heat is on us. What? Oh God. Oh God, they're marked. Hold on. So this is the moment when one of his assistants sees the chat that's flying on the screen. And he's like, he whispers to him, the cards are marked. And this is where he finds out. How you can tell they're marked? Okay. Look, look at the little scratches on the... Nah, they're scratched, bro. Yeah? Yeah. These, these cards are both scratched. 
Where is Chris? Look, I'll show you. Right there is a little scratch. It's hard to pick up, but I think right about here under his finger, there looks like there's a little scratch. This one don't got it though. What a scratch. You don't see right here? Right, look, watch, they have it on each card. That one right there is a scratch. That one right there is a scratch. Right. Am I tripping? Yes. And now he's pretending like he has no idea, but based off his gameplay, he has an idea. I don't know. Wait, let me see the other cards. I don't think you do that, bro. I know you wouldn't do that to me, but. Let's play 2K. You want to play again? Not much. But I play with the Clippers. Notice how he tries to change the subject very fast right here. Let's play 2K. Well, you know Aiden's brain is still processing what's happening. Who got, whose cards are these though? Where you, where you get cards from? Bonds. Bonds? Bonds. Yeah. You got them today? Yeah. Watch what happens here. Aiden asks to see a face card. He hands him a joker. He asks to see a face card. He hands him another card that's not a face. And you see there's a jack, the next card in line. So he hands him one, he hands him two. And the next card you could see was a jack. And then he flips the deck over and starts going through to not give him that card. Watch. You see like a face? And right there, you could see the moment where it's a jack. I don't see what you're talking about. Not but on these ones. Show me the red ones. What a red one. You just have them. What a red one. I think you need to swap them. Nah, yeah. See that mark right there? I'm not tripping, bro. That's yeah, at this moment, the cards were given away to someone else, and Aiden thought maybe they got swapped out, but it seems like it's still the same deck. Like, you see what I'm saying? You see a little scratch right there? Right there, yeah. They all have scratches on it, bro. The face cards. Only the face cards. Have scratches. Watch. Right there, that's, there's the same scratch on the king. Now, in my opinion, 21 Savage was definitely in on this scam from his body language to the way that he's searching through the cards almost right from the beginning. We see the moment where he probably switched in the deck, and then even though he denied this, it's obvious that it's very different. I'm not sure how he thought that in front of 100,000 people, he could cheat Aiden of over $200,000, and has since paid him back, and it seems to be all square, though Aiden still seems unsure if he actually did this to him. But I can assure you, Aiden, if you see this, he was in on it. Now, there's a lot of things he would need to work on to actually have made this scam work. He should have got rid of the deck at the end and switched it in for a proper deck so that they didn't get caught and there was no evidence. He should have practiced reading the markings from a distance and not made it nearly as obvious and probably lost a few more hands as well. He pulled over 11 face cards in something like 15 or 16 hands. Statistically just impossible. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Was he in on it or not? To me it's pretty clear but I want to know what you guys think. Now if you've made it this far, hopefully you've learned a thing or two. If you'd like to to learn magic from me one-on-one -on -one, I do offer private lessons that you can check out at the link below and if you'd like to learn how to do some incredible magic and some of the things we've talked about in this video click right here so with all that said guys don't forget to like comment share subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one